Okay. Okay, so go ahead. Let's come to a seated position. Now you can decide if you have pillows or blocks that you wanna make use of for our session, please always feel free to do so. I am actually gonna sit on one of my blocks right now. So your choice, Yogi, whatever kind of seat you want to come to, if you want to crisscross applesauce or if you want to bring the soles of your feet together or if you want those legs extended in front of you, this is up to you how you begin the start of our session. Wherever you are, I want you to take a nice deep breath in through the nose and let it go through the mouth. Feel free to sigh audibly, be loud. This is your session. Do it again. Deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, let it go. Nice. Go ahead and take that chin down to the chest. And we're going to rock the chin from shoulder to shoulder, taking our time. Maybe inhale to one side. Exhale to the other. We'll do two more breaths right here. And when you're ready, meet me back in the middle. Inhale, lifting the chin up parallel to the ground. Feel free to close your eyes here or shift your gaze down to the ground and take a scan, check in with yourself. Notice how your body has shown up to this practice today. Take note of your heartbeat, your pulse, your energy level, and scan your body from head to toe, making note of any places where it feels tense or feels like it needs a good stretch. And as we do this, we're doing this without judgment. We're just observing, observing how your body has shown up to this space at this time. And as we move through our practice, do yourself the honor of giving yourself grace today. Allow your body to show up as it is. We'll take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. On that next inhale, reach those arms overhead. Big stretch. And as you exhale, take a little twist to that right side. Maybe shifting the gaze over that right shoulder. Inhale, coming back to center, reaching it up, and exhale to that left side. Inhale, back to center. And if you're on top of a block like me, I'm going to come off of the block. So your seat is on the ground. And then from here, bring those feet flat, knees bent. Reach those arms in front of you, and we're going to roll all the way down onto the back. Walk those heels closer to the body. We're gonna start and end our practice here with a bridge today. So press into those heels. You're gonna inhale, lift the hips up toward the sky. Inhale to lift. And exhale, release upper, middle, lower back. When the lower back hits, go ahead and draw those knees into the chest, giving yourself a hug, rocking side to side. From here, let that left leg come down to the ground. Right leg extends. Get into this practice here. Pull that right leg towards you. Flex that foot. Point the toe. Flex. Point. 
Maybe even rotate that ankle. And right away, we're gonna bend that right knee, grab hold of that right foot, pulling that right foot toward the body, finding this reclined pigeon. I love stretching those hips after a nice long day. I like stretching the hips after a short day. I like stretching the hips in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. <laughs> Always a good time to stretch the hips. And then go ahead and release, extending that right leg up to the sky and slowly lowering it to the ground. On the next inhale, bringing that left leg towards you, flexing that foot, pointing the toe, flex, point, and then maybe rotating that ankle. Bend that left knee, go ahead and grab hold of that left foot, pulling it towards you, finding your reclined pigeon on this side. And just noting how the hip feels at the beginning of this practice. And release, extending that left leg up to the sky and lowering it all the way down. Go ahead and reach overhead, big, full body stretch. And then as you exhale, draw both knees into the chest. Go ahead and rock forward and back or side to side until you come all the way up to a seated position. Sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, arms overhead when you're ready and exhale, hands in front of the body, rocking forward and back until you come all the way to that tabletop position, bringing those wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath those hips. Inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the chin, and exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin. Let's do two more breaths here, your pace. Dropping the belly as you inhale forward, and whenever you're ready with that exhale, rounding the spine. And then finding that nice flat back. On the inhale, right hand forward, left leg back. Nice big reach. And then release, tabletop. Left hand forward, right leg back. Nice long line. And release tabletop. Go ahead and curl those toes. Lift the hips, making your way to that first downward dog. Maybe finding a little movement here. Shifting those hips from side to side or bending those knees. Always allowed to be playful in this downward dog. Inhale, go ahead and lift those heels. Exhale, draw them down. One more inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. And then big bend in both of those knees. Look forward between those hands. Walk those feet underneath the hips. Keeping the knees bent, grab opposite elbows. Let the head be heavy, finding your rag doll. Really great release for that lower back. This is a good check on those hamstrings, noticing how they've shown up today. Maybe you find stillness or maybe you're rocking side to side, or even forward to back. And release those elbows, tuck the chin, rolling all the way to the top, finding your mountain pose. Inhale, lifting those arms overhead. 
As you exhale, interlace those fingers, taking it over to that right side. Inhale back to center, exhale to the left. Inhale to center, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, stepping back, downward dog. On your next inhale, lifting that right leg, flexing the foot, bending the knee, opening the hip to that right side. Now remember in this position, always feel free to drop that lower leg. Inhale, lifting that hip, exhale, square off the hip, right foot meets the left. On the next inhale, lifting that left leg, flexing the foot, bending the knee, opening the hip to that left side. Inhale to lift, exhale, square off that hip, and left foot meets the right, downward dog. From here, big roll forward to that high plank. Go ahead and drop those knees. We're going to lower the chest and the chin all the way down. Inhale, heart lifts, baby cobra. Exhale, tapping that chest down to the ground. Press to tabletop, bring it all the way back, child's pose. Quick check in with the self, coming back to that breath. And on the next inhale, curling those toes, lifting the hips, making your way to that downward dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. As you exhale, step that right foot forward to the right thumb, turning that back foot flat, toes out. Inhale, rising up, warrior one, beautiful. Go ahead and hinge forward here, flat back. Inhale to lift. Bend those elbows, open that heart. And as you exhale, push forward, nice flat back. Inhale to lift. Bending those elbows, opening that heart. Exhale, press forward. One more, inhale to lift. Open that heart, press forward. And surround that right foot. Step back, downward dog. Option to stay right here, or if you would like finding that flow, rolling forward to that high plank, lowering down chaturanga, or drop those knees. Inhale that heart forward. And exhale, downward dog. Taking that cleansing breath, really letting the head just be heavy. On the next inhale, lifting that left leg, bend that left knee, step that left foot forward to the left thumb, turn the back foot flat. Inhale, rising up, warrior one. Exhale, hinging forward. Inhale, lifting up, opening that heart, pressing forward. Inhale, lifting up, opening that heart. Exhale, press forward. One more time. Big breath. And lifting back up to that warrior one.
On the next exhale, surrounding that left foot, step back, downward dog. Option to roll forward, coming into that high plank, lowering down chaturanga. Inhale, heart lifts. And exhale, downward dog. Bending those knees, looking forward between the hands. Step hopper, float those feet forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, toe heel those feet together, sinking back, reaching up, finding that chair pose. Resting those palms together, coming to that standing position. Releasing those arms. Inhale, lifting overhead. Exhale, taking it over to that right side. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back into that plank and lower. Always the option to go right to that downward dog. If you're flowing through, inhale, heart lifts, and exhale, downward dog. Finding that flow, finding that energy on the inhale, lifting that right leg. Exhale, step that right foot forward. Keep that back foot spun up. Inhale, lifting all the way up, finding that lunge. Pressing up, opening to that warrior two, sinking into that right leg. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower. One more inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Holding that warrior two, finding three powerful breaths right here. On that third exhale, go ahead and bend that right arm, hinging forward, finding that right angle, lifting the left arm up to the sky. Maybe that left arm even comes in front of the body. Lifting up and over that left ear, pinky spiraling down, finding length through that left side. And inhale to lift back to that warrior two, sinking in. Flipping that front palm, reaching forward, setting it up and back, reverse. Straightening that front leg, cartwheeling those arms down, finding that triangle. Inhale to lift up, turning toes out, heels in. Reaching up for star, and as you exhale, lowering down into goddess, finding those hips. Inhale, press to star. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press. Exhale, lower. Holding here. Turning toes forward, sinking into that right side. Maybe even making use of a block here.
straightening that front leg, turning everything toward that right side, finding that low lunge. Left hand comes down, right hand lifts, finding your low lunge twist. And surrounding that right foot, go ahead and step that back foot in. Finding our pyramid, bringing both legs straight or slightly bent, we'll hinge forward. Slight bend in that right leg. Maybe that left leg lifts for your standing split. And left foot meets the right. Sinking back, reaching up, chair pose. Looking down, can you see those toes? Can you wiggle them? Pressing to stand. Inhale, lifting arms overhead and release those fingers, taking it up and over to that right side. Back to center, over to that left side. Back to center and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back. Top of that push-up and lower. Inhale, that heart lifts. Exhale, downward dog. On the inhale, lifting that left leg. Exhale, step that left foot forward. Keep that back foot spun up. Inhale, heart lifts. Lifting power through that back foot, opening up warrior two, bringing that front heel to the center of that back foot, sinking into that left leg. Option to find a little movement here. Inhale, lifting up, straightening that front leg. Exhale, bend and lower. Working with your breath. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you lower. Maybe one more round. <sighs> On your next exhale, bending that left arm, reaching that right arm up toward the sky. Maybe that right arm comes in front of the body, lifting up and over that ear, pinky spiraling down. Inhale, finding your way back to that warrior two. Exhale, sinking in. Flipping that left palm, reaching forward. Up and back for your reverse. And straightening that front leg, hinging forward, finding your triangle. Inhale, lifting those arms back up, toes out, heels in, reaching up for your star. Exhale to lower into that goddess. 
Inhale, star, reach. Exhale, lower. One more. Inhale to reach. Exhale to lower. Turning toes forward, sinking back over to that left side. And then turning to that left side, finding that low lunge. Right hand down, left hand lifts, coming into your low lunge twist. And then surround that left foot, stepping back. Downward dog or high plank to low. Inhaling that heart forward. And exhale, we'll meet in downward dog. Bending those knees, looking forward between the hands, step hop or float those feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Pressing into that left foot. Right foot option to lift, finding that standing split. And then bringing that right foot down, we're going to find our pyramid, both legs straight, hinging forward, checking in with those hamstrings. Bending that front knee. Right foot meets the left and fold. Bending those knees, rolling it up. Deep inhale, reaching overhead. Exhale, palms together in front of the heart. Finding a little bit of a balance series here. Go ahead and press into that left foot. We're going to find our tree. So maybe that right foot kickstands or comes to the lower part of the leg or maybe it comes above the knee. We're just going to find a spot where you feel like balanced without having to hold your breath. <laughs> we don't want to hold our breath here. And see if you can find a spot where you can start to open that right hip a little bit. Maybe sending the knee away from the body toward that right side. Maybe those hands stay together in front of the heart or maybe that tree starts to grow. And maybe those branches start to separate. Reaching those hands overhead, pressing those palms back together in front of the heart. Releasing that right leg. Maybe rotating the left ankle, right ankle. Taking a big inhale, reaching up to the top. Exhale, pressing the palms together in front of the heart. Taking it right to that right side, rooting into that right foot. Maybe finding your kickstand or maybe the leg comes to or the foot comes to the lower part of the leg, or maybe it comes above the knee. And being mindful here to think about opening the hip, a little external rotation of that left hip, so pulling it away from the body. And you might find it's a different variation on each side, and that's perfectly fine.
Maybe you stay here and maybe those branches start to grow overhead. Maybe they start to open up. And maybe reaching back overhead, pressing the hands together. And release, rotating those ankles. Feel free to hold on to something here. We're going to bring that right knee into the chest. Give it a hug. Rotate the ankle. Maybe even grabbing underneath that leg and like kicking the leg out a little bit. Just seeing where it's at. From here, standing nice and tall, release that right hand forward and then lift it up and back, finding a little bit of a twist. Right hand comes up and over, grabbing underneath that leg, lifting it up, and release, pressing into that right foot, lifting that left leg, maybe even kicking that leg a little bit. And then that left hand lifts up and over. Bringing it back, lift that knee, and release. We're going to go back to that right side, but this time using that right hand to guide that knee over to the side for a little hip opener. Bringing it back. Let's do it again. Open it up. Bring it back. Last one, we open up. Maybe even extending the limbs, little diagonal, pulling it in, bringing it back, release. Nice job lifting that left leg, using that left hand to help press that leg open. I'm flexing my foot here to help protect the knee. Bring it back, opening it up. Little counterbalance with the arm, bring it back. One more time, maybe this is where you start to extend, finding that balance. Bring it back and really shaking out those legs. Big deep breath, inhale. We're gonna take a big step forward with that right foot, sending that left foot back, coming off of the heel. We're gonna come into that warrior three. So finding that forward hinge, maybe kicking off that back foot. Finding our flight for the day. And those arms don't have to stay in front. They can come out to the side, behind the back, together in front of the heart. And bringing those left toes back down, lifting up into that high lunge. Opening those arms to the side, take a big inhale, and as you exhale, twisting toward that right leg. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Coming back to center, reaching those arms overhead, lunge. And then big circle sweep the arms, coming into that chair. And press to stand this time. Let's take a step forward with that left foot. Right foot comes back off of the heel. Reaching those arms forward, finding that flight for warrior three on this side. Remembering you can take any variation with those arms. They can open up behind the back, hands together in front of the heart. Notice here if your toes tend to turn out. See if you can turn those toes 
toward the ground. It's a little internal rotation of the hip. And stepping back, reaching up high, lunge. Opening those arms, inhale as you exhale, twisting toward that front leg. Inhale, open up. Exhale, twist. Inhale to open. Exhale to twist. Coming back to center, reaching those arms up. Circle, sweep the arms, sinking back, chair pose. Bringing the hands together in front of the heart. All right, this is your yogi challenge. You can get down there any way you want to get down, but we're trying the no hands all the way down to the ground to release and find a boat. Use those hands. Do whatever you got to do. Plop yourself down. Yell timber and fall back. <laughs> whatever you need to do, finding your boat. Couple of breaths here. And release, crossing at those ankles. We'll rock forward and back until you find your way to that tabletop. And go ahead and curl those toes, lift the hips downward, dog. You're amazing. Rolling forward to that high plank, holding here. Wiggling that right hand to center. We're going to open up, finding that side plank. Now maybe that bottom knee drops. Maybe the feet stack. Or maybe one foot goes in front of the other. Bringing it back to center, high plank, take a breath, and then we'll wiggle that left hand to center, turning to that right side, finding our side plank on the other side, taking whatever variation serves you at this moment. And bringing it back to center, high plank. Sending it back, downward dog. On your next inhale, sweeping that right leg high. Bend the knee. Bring the knee to the right elbow. Let it hover. And send it back, lifting that right leg high. Bring the right knee to the nose. Let it hover. Send it back. And bring that right knee to the left elbow. Let it hover. Send it back. Now bring that right foot to the outside of that right hand, setting up for a lizard, dropping the back knee, flattening the back toe. You can stay upright on those hands or come down to those forearms or rest on blocks. Got a nice 90 seconds here on this side. So allow yourself to settle into that hip. Sending all your exhales to that hip.
checking in with the breath. And starting to release, finding your way back to those hands. Maybe even shifting those hips back, finding a half split here, straightening that right leg. Bending that right knee, curling the back toe, lifting the back knee, stepping back, downward dog. Inhale, sweeping that left leg up toward the sky. And as you exhale, bringing that left knee to the left elbow, allowing it to hover. Inhale, sweeping that leg back up to the sky. As you exhale, knee to the chest, let it hover. Inhale, sweeping it back. Exhale, left knee to that right elbow. Inhale, just sweep it back. Exhale, left foot to the outside of that left hand, finding lizard on this side, dropping that back knee, landing the back toe, getting yourself set up to be here now in this posture, in this hip. Coming back to that breath, sending your exhales to your hip. And starting to release, coming back to those hands. Maybe even shifting those hips up and back, straightening that front leg, finding your half split. Bending that front knee, curling the back toe, lifting the back knee, stepping it back, downward dog. Rolling forward to that high plank. Let's lower all the way down to the ground. Zipping up those legs, flattening those toes, hands underneath those shoulders. We're gonna press it up. Feel free to even straighten those arms, stretching through the front side of the body, counteracting any rounded shoulders from the day. Maybe even shifting the gaze up to the sky. Gently releasing, rolling all the way back down, pressing to tabletop, and walking those hands back to set up for camel. So inhale, lift those arms overhead. As you exhale, bring the hands behind the back, pressing into the top of your pants line. Shoulders open and back, chest lifted, 
press forward, maybe shifting the gaze up to the sky or letting the head fall back and shifting the gaze behind you. And releasing, finding that tabletop, nice flat back. Crossing those ankles, coming back to a seat, bringing the soles of the feet together, knees wide. If you have blocks or pillows, feel free to stuff them underneath those knees. Inhale, we'll sit up nice and tall. Exhale, maybe finding a little bit of a forward fold. And releasing, we'll extend those legs in front. Maybe shake them out a little bit. Inhale, lifting up, and as you exhale, finding a forward fold. Allowing those hands to land wherever they land. And then walking it back, setting up for a wide-legged forward fold. So extending those legs out towards the sides, sitting up nice and tall, walking those hands forward until you feel a little ping in the inner thighs. Finding that spot, settling into it, exhale. Walking those hands back, bringing those legs back toward each other, and then bending the right knee, bringing it flat. Inhale, lifting up nice and tall. And as you exhale, finding a little twist toward that right side, maybe even that left elbow hooks to the outside of that right knee. Wherever you are here, just trying your best to sit up tall and lift through the twist. Coming back to center, reaching those arms overhead, switching legs, right leg extends, left leg bends, finding that lift over to that left side. Coming back to center, bringing both feet flat. Rolling it all the way back, setting up for that bridge. Heels walk back by the body, pressing into those heels. Inhale, lift those hips up to the sky. Allowing space between the chin and the chest.
Inhale to lift. Exhale, release upper, middle, lower back. Bringing the soles of the feet together, knees wide. Bringing those knees back toward each other, feet flat, setting up for another set of bridge, walking the heels closer to the body, pressing into those heels, lifting the hips, maybe even rolling those shoulders underneath the body, interlacing those fingers. Trying our best not to hold our breath. <laughs> Lift, 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 and release upper, middle, lower back, bringing those knees into the chest, giving yourself a hug, opening those arms to the side, and when you're ready, dropping both knees over to that right side. Bringing both knees back to center. And on your exhale, dropping both knees over to that left side. Bringing it back to center, letting that left leg come down to the ground, right leg up toward the sky, grabbing behind it with both hands, pulling it towards you, rotating that ankle. And release, right leg down to the ground, left leg, grab behind it, pull it towards you, rotating that ankle. and release using these final moments to take any postures that might feel good whether it's happy baby grabbing the outside edge of the feet or maybe bringing the soles of the feet together or maybe even drawing the knees into the chest just take a moment take off any final posture that might make your practice feel a little more complete And whenever you're ready, setting up for our final posture of Shavasana, bringing both legs down to the ground, arms by the side, allowing yourself to take up some space, taking a breath in through the nose, exhale, letting it go, gifting yourself these few moments allowing our practice to soak in.
and gently starting to wiggle those fingers and those toes, rotating wrists and ankles. When you're ready, inhale, full body stretch. And as you exhale, draw those knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug, rocking side to side. Coming all the way to that right side, taking a moment, taking a breath. And when you're ready, pressing those hands into the earth, bringing yourself up to a seated position, sitting up nice and tall in that spine. Inhale, arms overhead, exhale, palms together in front of the heart. Thank you so much for taking the time to come to your practice. It's all about building a consistent practice and showing up for yourself. And I'm so glad that you did. In gratitude for our practice, for this beautiful day, and well wishes. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Woohoo. It's always a great day to do some yoga.